Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. We're really excited for today's video. Beer's courtesy of Stephen. Thanks so much, Stephen. Obviously, I really appreciate it. Because uh, it's Fox Farm, and they make amazing things. Um, all right, let's see. From the soils, from, from the soils come the spoils. Uh, Bluster is a double IPA, 8% ABV. And I don't think they put hops or anything. Nope. All right, let's get into it. So it's a double IPA. They say the ABV, it's 8%. All right. Just cut my fingernails. Always tougher to <laughs> open cans with freshly clipped fingernails. Yeah, it didn't look like it was going to kick out a lot of heads. So I, I kind of threw a little bit of, a little extra oomph at the end. So yeah, definitely have a nice uh, finger and three quarter head. It's... It's definitely off white. It's it's so interesting. Super compact bubble. Super super super. But then at the top, very soapy, sudsy looking. So you kind of get like two different, uh, what are typically different kinds of of looks to a head. Um, but yeah, it's it's an off white. It's almost like bone white. A little bit of orange mixed in, which makes sense when you look at the color of the beer. Um, that's a really nice mix of yellow and dark orange. I'm not even going to say burnt orange, which I say a lot. Um, it's, it's a little lighter than, than a lot of the ones I've been doing lately. kind of reminds me, the, the dead center reminds me uh, a little bit of maybe like a dried apricot uh, in color. But yeah, I mean, it's beautiful looking. Let's get into the aroma. <laughs> Got some on my nose. I get that yeast thing that I sometimes get with, um, is it the, the Conan yeast, I believe? little bit of, I don't know if it's just because I said apricot, but a little bit of apricot and peach. There's an earthy element. There's something else familiar. It might be the grain. It, 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 I'm having a hard time putting words to it, but it might be the grain bill, actually. It's not the biggest aroma I, I, I've had lately, that's for sure. So it is a little muted. I'll try one more. You get like that clementine orange for sure. But yeah, it, it's a relatively soft aroma. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Stephen. A lot more going on in the taste. Awesome level of bitterness, but there is that sweetness. It does have that orange, peach, apricot. Kiss a like honeydew melon, which I don't get a lot. Like I, I sometimes I hear other people talk about melon. It's very rare I say melon in a beer. I can totally see honeydew melon in this beer. Um, so yeah, it has enough citrus that I like in IPAs, but it's not as citrus dominant um, uh, as some other ones I've had lately. But it's definitely there. Don't get me wrong. But it definitely has that nice peach apricot thing. Um, and then yeah, the melon is like the most unique thing for me because again, I don't get it a lot. Yeah, in the the sweetness, you know, allowing for that trick of your brain to think you're tasting juice like that that is there for a while, but then the bitterness comes in. Gets like if it's a hundred percent sweet, it's like ten percent less sweet. You know, it gets like a little drier, but still very sweet after the bitterness kicks in. But it really kind of like helps balance out the beer, you know, into the finish. The finish is yeah is very much. It's going to sound weird. You got to take some of the sweetness away, but it is very much like a, a, a dried, like, um, I haven't dried, quite dried apricot. More like a dried, like, peach. It's got a little bit of, like, a zesty thing on top uh, uh, from orange. Um, so it kind of has, it's not the driest finish because there is some sweetness there. So it's kind of like, how to describe it. Like, yeah, there's just enough sweetness, but it's not like just like a bunch of residual sugar you know, not, I'm not like licking my lips trying to get it. You know, it's not it's not that sweet, obviously, but it's definitely also not bone dry. But it's not. I don't know if I'd call it dry, but if I say it's a, a relatively sweet finish, am I conveying like, oh, it must be sweeter than he means? Anyway, I'm overthinking it. 
maybe almost like um I, I use this one a lot because I'll get like this fruit roll-up vibe. I doubt that there's an apricot fruit roll-up or a peach fruit roll-up, probably more accurately, but like I get a little bit of that, so maybe a little bit of citric acid. Um, I like this, but I also didn't mention that. Like it just it tastes good. And yeah, there there is really this nice sweetness throughout. You know, except for that, except for when the bitterness first hits, but then the sweetness comes back up. It's probably just your palate, like you know, oh, bitter. Back to the rest of you know, back to the programming. Uh, the, that you know, before it's like like you're watching TV and a weather alarm goes off or whatever, and it's back to your regularly regularly scheduled program. That's kind of what the bitterness does in this beer. It's like got these sweet fruity flavors. Bitterness interrupts. Uh, I, I don't want to say it goes away, but then it like really gets back to the pre-bitter show, um, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to add, I didn't want to say it till until I tried it and, and gave my review. This beer is two months old. I, I've never had it fresh, but like, if this is how good it is two months old, I, I'm sure this beer ha was at least as good, you know, two weeks old. So definitely uh, uh, kind of cool to try, you know, again, because I've had a decent number of their beers at this point, all delicious. So to see one, you know, an, a double IPA sit for, you know, about two months and still hold up is pretty cool. So good on them. Good on you for watching to this point in the video. Good on you for watching the video at all. Uh, thoughts on this? Anything, everything? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.